Now let's take a look at today's forecast. And for that, we welcome in Gerard Bailey, who I have not seen since I thought he was attacked and taken away by a groundhog. It's been a little bit, hasn't it? It was uh, very cold over there in Pennsylvania. Good morning, Nick Smith. And, uh, of course, I've also been away uh, at a weather conference in Oklahoma City where I enjoyed 60 degrees in sunshine while it's been very cold. But you know what? A lot of the country has really warmed up. Pretty amazing. We got up to 50 degrees here in Chicago this morning. But it's about to really change. Most of the country, it's actually fairly quiet, and that is going to change in a big way, too. So today, a system is going to start developing. We're going to be seeing rain across a lot of the Midwest, down towards Dallas, Houston. And we're only all going to be seeing that as rain to the north. But further south, we could be looking at a chance for some severe thunderstorms. So here's a look at the severe weather risk. A level one threat today down there towards Houston. But that is going to increase. As we get into tomorrow, it steps up to at least a level two. Chances of uh, that being upgraded to level three, not particularly high, but we have to still pay attention. It could still happen. But really, the hazards we're going to be dealing with are large hail, damaging wind. There will be a, th a threat for a few tornadoes. The flooding threat also elevated. And then here it is as it moves into uh, Thursday. We've got another threat, still fairly low right now, but across parts of the uh, southern Florida Peninsula as well. We're talking all the way into the panhandle. That flooding threat is also going to be in existence everywhere from Oklahoma to parts of Arkansas, where they're going to get anywhere between two to four inches of rainfall. It is going to be pretty heavy there, consistent, so some flash flooding a possibility. Further north to the Midwest, it's still going to be a soaking rain. We're out of the cold air. In fact, that cold air is not really there until you get closer to far northwestern Illinois, Wisconsin. That will change things over to snow. 48 inches of snow on tap with this system as we get through Thursday. Now, the next few days, again, it's been a little weird, all right? We went from Arctic blasts uh, just about four or five days ago, everywhere from the Northeast, even parts of the Great Lakes. Now, we're seeing temperatures way above average, and it's going to continue, not just in the next several days. We will get some slightly cooler air, but really heading into the next six to ten days, we're going to see things changing uh, with it staying, well, I should say staying as very warmer than average, not any big changes with those uh, temperatures, Nick. Pretty impressive this time of the year to have so many big swings up and down. I agree. Warm weather like that in the Midwest. I'm breaking out the reflector, putting on the suntan lotion, and going to lay out. Wow. You're, Just... you're speaking like the Canadians. 50 <laughs> degrees. Let's go to the beach. All right, Gerard. Thank you so much for that. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.